वेलकम टू द चैनल मैथ्स ऑफ ग्रेजुएट्स टुडे विल सी द प्रूफ ऑफ आर्गुमेंट प्रिंसिपल ओके सो द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द आर्गुमेंट प्रिंसिपल इज दैट लेट एफ ऑफ जेड बी अ मेरोमॉर्फिक फंक्शन इन साइड एंड ऑन अ पॉजिटिवली ओरिएंटेड कंटूर सी सो हेयर वी हैव अ मेरोमॉर्फिक फंक्शन मेरोमॉर्फिक फंक्शन मीन्स एफ ऑफ जेड फंक्शन इज अ एनलिटी फंक्शन और If f of z has any singularity, then that singularity must be pole. Okay, and it is also given that function f of z is non-zero on contour C. Then one over two pi iota integration f prime z over f of z in contour C is n minus p. Okay, here n is total number of zeros. And p is total number of poles counting multiplicities. Okay, so let's see the proof. Now let's assume let z equals to a one is a zero of multiplicity n one. And z equals to a two is a zero of multiplicity n two, and z equals to a l is a zero of multiplicity n l. Okay. In the same manner, let's assume z equals to b one is a pole of order p one. Z equals to b two is a pole of order p two. And z equals to b s is a pole of order p s. Okay, okay. It is given that capital N is total number of zeros counting multiplicities. So we can say that n one plus n two plus n l is capital n and p1 plus p2 plus p s is capital p all right okay to prove this theorem first we'll prove by taking particular case after that we'll generalize the statement okay so first i'll assume that function f of z has only one zero And only one pole. Okay, so let's assume f of z has zero. Z equals to a of multiplicity n, and z equals to b is a Pole of order p. Okay. So now we have assumed that function f of z has one zero and one pole. Multiplicity of zero is n, and order of pole is p. Okay. Okay. Now let's draw a contour. So this is contour C, and suppose. This point is z equals to a, and this point is z equals to b. Okay. This is contour C. Now let's draw a circle, non-overlapping circle, which does not intersect the contour C. Okay. Suppose this circle is C one, and this circle is C two. Okay. So. For this multiply connected domain, using one of the result 
from Cauchy's theorem for multiply connected domain, we can write integration of function f prime z over f of z in contour c, this equals to integration of function f prime z over f of z in circle c 1 plus integration f prime z over f of z dz in circle c 2. Okay? Since f of z has a 0 at z equals to a of multiplicity n, then we can write function f of z as z minus a raised to power n into some analytic function of z. Okay? Here phi of z is some analytic function. Okay? Now, taking log both sides, so we have log f of z this equals to n log z minus a plus log phi of z. Okay? Now, let us differentiate, so on differentiating we have f prime z over f of z this equals to n over z minus a plus phi prime z over phi of z. Okay? Now, let us integrate this equation in circle C 1. Okay? So, on integrating we have f prime z over f of z in circle C 1 this equals to n integration 1 over z minus a dz in circle C 1 plus integration phi prime z over phi of z in circle C 1. Okay? Now, this function phi prime z over phi of z is analytic function. So, inside circle C 1 from Cauchy's fundamental theorem, this integration will be 0. Okay? So, now we are left with integration f prime z over f of z dz in circle c 1 this equals to n times integration of 1 over z minus a dz in circle c 1. Okay? Now, we can write the integration for this function using Cauchy's integral formula. Okay? So, from Cauchy's integral formula, this will be n times 2 pi iota. Okay? So, we have integration f prime z over f of z dz in circle c 1, this equals to 2 pi iota into n. Okay? Okay. Now, let us find second part of the integration, this second integration. Okay? So, let us find, it is also given that function f of z has pole at z equals to b of order p. Okay? So, we can write function f of z as some analytic function psi of z over z minus b raised to power p. Okay? Okay? Now, let us again taking log following the same process. So, on taking log it will be log f of z log psi of z minus p log z minus p. Okay? Now, let us differentiate with respect to z. So, we have f prime z over f of z equals to psi prime z over psi of z minus p over z minus p. Okay? Now, let us integrate in circle C 2. 
So, on integrating we have f prime z over f of z dz in circle C 2 this equals to integration in circle C 2 psi prime z over psi of z dz minus p times integration 1 over z minus b dz in circle C 2. Okay. So, again this function psi prime z over psi of z is analytic in C 2. Okay. So, this integration will be 0 from Cauchy's fundamental theorem. Okay. So, now we have integration C 2 f prime z over f of z dz this equals to minus p integration 1 over z minus b dz. Okay. So, this integration will be using Cauchy's integral formula this will be minus p times 2 pi iota. Okay. So, second part of the integral is C 2 f prime z over f of z dz equals to minus 2 pi iota into p. Now, let us substitute these two values this value and this value into this equation. Okay. So, on substituting we have integration c f prime z over f of z dz equals to 2 pi iota into n minus 2 pi iota into p. Okay. Now, in right hand side taking 2 pi iota common, so we have n minus p. Okay. So, we can also write this equation as 1 over 2 pi iota integration in contour c f prime z over f of z dz this equals to n minus p. Okay. So, that means light version of this theorem has been proved. So, now we can generalize this statement if we have more than 1 zeros and more than 1 pole then this then this integration will be 1 over 2 pi iota integration c 1 f prime z over f of z dz this will be sum of multiplicities of all the zeros. Okay. So, it will be i is running from 1 to l n i okay. similarly for the poles. Okay. If we have s poles then it will be j is running from 1 to s p s okay. and we have seen that this sum is capital N and this sum is capital P. Okay. So, this is the required argument principle. Let me write it again 1 over 2 pi iota integration f prime z over f of z dz this equals to n minus p. Okay. All right. So, this is the proof of this theorem. Okay. I hope you have learned something valuable from this video. Now, this video ends here and I have a quick announcement to make those students who are preparing for exams like CSR net, gate and other MSc entrance examination can buy our complex analysis handwritten notes for a very reasonable price for only rupees 50. So, if you are interested, you can contact us through this WhatsApp number. Thank you. Thanks for watching.